Well, with the weather getting warmer, people in the bike business are having a hard time keeping up. Uh, bikes and bike repairs are in high demand right now. Governor Tim Walz declared bike shops to be essential during the stay-at-home order. As Kate Raddatz discovered, people are certainly using this time at home to get back on their bikes. We have been slammed. Johnny Rock Bikes opened up its second location in Bloomington in March. Already, owner Jonathan Minks has had to hire more staff to keep up with demand. Everybody wants to get their bike fixed or they want to get a new or used bike so they can go for a bike ride. This was the line outside Eric's Bike Shop in Minnetonka Sunday. For Minx, he sold out of used kids' bikes at his Hopkins store this weekend and has nearly doubled sales of new bikes. One of my suppliers said they sold nine, I think they said nine months of bikes in two weeks. We looked at Walmart and Target, and the bike selection is just non existent. <laughs> Melissa Wolfile wanted to buy her two-year-old daughter a bike for her birthday next week. Parents are just looking to get their kids outside. And if you either needed to upgrade to a newer bike or get, in our case, a first bike, I think it's just a great time and everybody has the same thought right now. It's not just bike sales that are affected, but tune-ups and repairs, too. A customer of Tonka Cycle and Ski told me typically it takes them a couple of days to a week to get their bike back from a tune-up, but yesterday they were told it could take up to a month this time. Johnny Rock Bikes is getting a shipment of 45 new bikes this week. Minx recommends going early. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. Policies vary by bike shop as to whether or not customers are allowed in the store. Johnny Rocks does allow a few families at a time in their larger Bloomington location, but it is curbside service only in Hopkins.